Hey guys, let's take a look at metric volume today. We've got two parts to this. First is volume. First, let's look at this delicious. Oh, oh, oh this is wonderful. Look at that. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. All right. That's a two liter bottle. You know what a liter is, right? Okay, so two liter bottle looks like that. One liter, you need to memorize this. So write this down. A liter is also the same thing as, as a thousand cubic centimeters, which looks like that. So just memorize it. A liter is also a thousand milliliters. So if a liter is, is a thousand cubic centimeters and the liter is also a thousand milliliters, then a thousand milliliters is the same thing as a thousand cubic centimeters. Okay. Of course, if you want to divide both of those by a thousand, you would find that a milliliter is the same thing as a cubic centimeter. You can visualize a cubic centimeter, right? That's a milliliter. Okay. So we're going to use that to solve some of uh, those rate conversion problems. So let's try one of those right now. But this is the key. Make sure you understand a milliliter is the same thing as a cubic centimeter and a liter has, you know, a thousand milliliters. Okay. Or a thousand cubic centimeters. Either one of those is equal. Okay. Let's do an easy one first. We're going to convert 14,000 milliliters to liters. So we know that step is the first thing you do is just write what you're given. 14,000 milliliters, okay? We're gonna write a fraction next, and we know it's gonna have a milliliter on the bottom, right? Okay, and the conversion is, there are a thousand milliliters to go to one liter. So we can cross out the milliliters now, and we just multiply across like a normal fraction. Of course, if you wanna do, you can do the division in your head if you want. 14,000 divided by a thousand is just 14, and the only, uh, the only uh, unit of measure is the liter left, so there's your answer. Okay, let's do one that's slightly more involved. All right, and copy this down. If you want to do this, you can just say, you can if you want to write this problem down like this, a, a much shorter version, just go like this. Do four cubic feet. In other words, it'd be like this. Convert that to liters. That's probably an easier way for you to do that. Okay. Well, again, same old first step. Write what you're given. Four cubic feet. So we got four cubic feet. Okay. Since there is a foot times a foot times a foot, we know we're going to have to have three fractions, right? Okay. Foot, foot, and a foot. Okay. We know we're going to have to have three instances of feet at the bottom. We are going to liters. Can you can you visualize a cubic foot? Okay. There's a cubic foot. Four of those convert those to liters. So one foot is 12 inches. Of course, one foot is 12 inches and one foot is 12 inches. Okay, so now we have feet are gone and we have feet cubed. That's gone. Three of those. There we go. Okay, so now we have to go get inches and get those to centimeters, right? Okay, so we know that an inch is 2.54 centimeters and then 2.54 centimeters and then you will not be surprised to learn 2.54 centimeters is an inch. Okay, so three of those, one, two, three, one, two, three, and now we have cubic centimeters. Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. Cubic centimeters, right? That's what we have on top. We need to have that on the bottom. Look back, look at your conversion. A cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter, right? And a cubic centimeter, a thousand cubic centimeters, is the same thing as a liter, right? Okay, so we can just go ahead and do the conversion here. A thousand cubic centimeters, and that takes the three takes care of the one, two, and three there, is the same thing as one liter. So, boom, that's gone. So our final answer is going to be, you know, what? Four times 12 to the third power times 2.54 to the third power, and that's going to be over a thousand, and that's how many liters we have. Whatever that is, you can figure that out if you want to do it on a calculator or whatever. So there we go. Okay, four cubic feet to liters. Okay, let's try the last one here. <clears throat> We're going to convert 4.7 liters to cubic inches. Okay, and if you want to write this in your book, you can, I mean, on your notes, you can just put 4.7 liters to cubic inches. That's what you want to convert. All right, we know how to start this. We always start with writing what we're given 4.7 liters. Okay. Now we're going to go to cubic inches. Okay. Well, we know that inches, those, that's, we can convert uh, centimeters to inches. So we know we're aiming for centimeters first. Okay. 
we know the first thing we're going to write is a leader, right? Because we have a leader up top. Well, again, one liter is the same thing as, going back, one liter is a thousand milliliters, or a liter is a thousand cubic centimeters, right? Okay, so let's just write a thousand <coughs> cubic centimeters. There we go. Liters get crossed off. Okay, now we have three instances of centimeters up top, so we know we need three more fractions. So 2.54 centimeters is an inch. 2.54 centimeters is an inch. 2.54 centimeters is an inch. Okay, so one, two, three centimeters, three centimeters, and we have our final answer since we have inch times inch times inch, that's a cubic inch. So we have 4.7 times a thousand, and that's up top. On bottom, we have 2.54, I'll just put parentheses, to the third power. And that's how many cubic inches we have. And of course, you can always, uh, you know, do the arithmetic or put it in a calculator and see how many actual cubic inches. Can you visualize, by the way, look at this. Can you visualize? I mean, you know what a two liter bottle is, right? Okay, like a little more than two of those. How many cubic inches? That's going to be your answer right there. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the other part of what we're doing. And the missing sides, let's go back and remember this. This is going to become really important when you take trigonometry one day because it seems like half of trigonometry you're messing around with 30, 60, 90 triangles or 45, 45, 90 triangles. So let's look at the basic sides. Remember the basic side ratios of the 30, 60, 90? Okay, across from the 30, let's say you have a unit, that's going to be one, all right? Well, across from the 90 degree angle, whatever that this one is, it'll be twice that, okay? And of course, the across from the 60, it'll be this number times the square root of 3, okay? If you ever forget, <clears throat> if you just remember, across from the 30, there's a 1, and across from the 90, there's it's twice that. You can figure this out using the Pythagorean theorem, right? 1 squared plus something squared gives you 2 squared, okay? In other words, 1 plus something squared gives you 4, and you, you know, subtract, so you know something squared gives you 3, so the answer is the square root of 3 squared gives you 3. So there you go. Make sure you have that memorized, all right? Keep that. All right, this is a basic 45, 45, 90 triangle. Memorize this, this, uh, this one as well, all right? Uh, if you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, well, don't forget this angle opens up a side length over here. We'll just call it one. Well, if this opens up a side length here, this is also 45 degrees. Well, this is gonna be the same side length here as it is here, okay? Sometimes it might be eight or 9.2 or 50 or something like that, okay? Whatever this number is, you can do the arithmetic if you want. Oh, one squared plus one squared equals, you know, we'll call it a C squared, okay, to find out what this is. So one squared is one, one squared is one, a C squared. Okay, so let's write it like this. C squared equals one plus one. Find the square root, boom, there we go, okay? And there is a one. If you wanna write a one right there, that's helpful because anytime you see this ratio, it's going to be these two numbers, which will be the same, times the square root of two. In other words, if you see a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and they'll go like this and tell you 45 degrees, they assume you know this is gonna be 45 degrees. Let's say they have, you know, I don't know, 13 here, and they go, what is this and what is this? You're gonna say, well, 45, 45, 90, this is also gonna be 13. This will be 13 times the square root of 2. There you go. It's always going to be that way. Okay, knowing that, let's take a look and find x and y. Find x and y, okay? We'll use similar triangles, they say, to do this. So you remember how to do those. Just find the ratios, okay? All I'm going to do is just write, you know, give myself a basic triangle here. That's the ratio 1, 1, and square root of 2. That's another 45, 45, 90, okay? So they want you to find x and y? Fine, we'll find x and y. We can do it two ways if you want. We can go x is to 1 as 7 is to square root of 2, or we can go x is to 7 as 1 is to square root of 2. As long as you're consistent, you're okay. So let's find x first. All right, we'll go x is to 7 as, in other words, left, uh, you know, this side and then the hypotenuse is this side and then the hypotenuse. Okay, multiply across, multiply here. So I get the square root of 2x equals 7. And we're going to divide each side by the square root of 2. And remember, we can't leave an irrational number, like a square root of a number that's not an integer. 
in the denominator. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 2. So we get x is equal to 7, square root of 2 over 2, and there we go. Okay. Um, well, uh, newsflash, uh, since you know the x is 7, square root of 2 over 2, well, look, this is the same as that. So we've also, if we find x, we've found y. It's the same thing. So no need to do any more work other than that. Okay, found both of them. All right, let's look at uh, practice set. And uh, there are three of these, so try A, pause it, and give it, give it a whirl. Okay, 12,000 liters to milliliters. Of course, we know that there are a thousand, oops, uh, one liter is the same thing as a thousand milliliters. This is a huge honking answer here, for heaven's sakes. All right. So the answer is 12,000 times 1,000. Well, we can do that in our heads if we want. 12 times 1 is 12. And three zeros here, three zeros there. And that's just going to be 12 million. That's a lot of milliliters. That's like a big drink in a 7-Eleven. Okay. All right, pause it and try B. All right, 10 cubic feet. That means we got feet here. First thing we're doing is going ahead and don't even think about it. Just write feet, feet, and feet. Okay, we know we're doing inches here. Oops, that's just a one. 12 inches, 12 inches, of course, each time. Feet go away, feet, 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 and this is gone. Now we have inches to piddle with, okay? So we know we're going to mess with uh, inches. And uh, we'll go inches. One inch is the same thing as 2.54 centimeters. 2.54 centimeters. My twos look terrible today. And 2.54 centimeters. Okay. So inch, 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 inch. Those are gone. All right. Now we have up top, we have a cubic centimeter. And remember, we're going liters. So remember what the, a liter is the same thing as? One liter is the same as how many cubic centimeters? A thousand. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that unit goes away, which takes away these three. Okay, so now we have 10 times 12 cubed times 2.54 cubed all over a thousand. And the unit we have left is liters. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try C. Go ahead and pause it and try C. Well, this is a piece of cake. All right, we got a one, we got a one, and we got a square root of two, right? Or one square root of two. Well, I mean, you can look at this and go, if, you know, if this is three, then that's going to be three, right? Why is going to be three? Because they're the same thing. If you want to go ahead and do the actual... You know, you can go 3 to 1 is equal to y to 1. Of course, y is going to be 3, right? All right, so we found that. All right, and then, you know, if you ever, heaven forbid, forget, you know, the whole deal with 45, 45, 90 triangles, you can just use the Pythagorean theorem if you want to. But if you do remember it, you can just go, well, whatever this number is, that's a 3. And, of course, that's a 3. And when you just make this number, it's going to be the same number, 3, and then with a square root of 2 slapped on the end of it. And again, let's say you forgot, okay? You went, oh no, I forgot. So I'm gonna go three squared plus three squared equals z squared. That's the a Pythagorean theorem, okay? So nine plus nine equals z squared, all right? Let's make it z squared equals 18, okay? Well, z then equals the square root of 18, right? Okay, of course we can write the square root of 18 like this, right? Nine times two, okay? This pulls out, that's a three, so three, times the square root of 2, which is exactly what we have already. Boom, there you go. Okay. All right. See you guys next time.